today on the challenge we have a world renowned evangelist dr lawrence tete doc you're welcome thank you <laughs> good, to thank see you. You. good to see you too doc and, and i'm happy you've grabbed me the whole day i know i felt like a sheep to the slaughterhouse <laughs> but thank you for thinking about my heart and thinking about my fitness and thinking about how we can develop our body and physique thank you you went to a body assessment well, in the hospital well i've had a very rigorous day today my weight, my size, my height, my chest, my liver, my kidneys and everything has been examined. Examined. <laughs> of course, they checked my they, they checked my heart rate and my heart beat and I had an ECG done. And so my entire body works was tested. And so I've gone through a regular full test today. Viewers, let's see what doctor went through. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Great. Please take it. Thank you. Welcome to Health Net. Thank you. So you are here for a cardiovascular risk assessment because you're going to start some training regime. So what we are going to do here today is to assess your cardiovascular function and see whether you are fit to start the exercise. We'll take a brief history. We'll ask you a few questions about yourself and your family with regard to cardiovascular disease. Then we'll do an examination, a physical examination. Afterwards, we'll hook you up on our ECG and see the electrical activity of your heart. Is that okay, sir? That's okay. Great. So, how are you doing today? Very well, I think. Great. Do you have any chronic illness at all? No. Any chronic illness at no. all? Good. So we're going to go through this questionnaire very quickly. Um, the first one is, have you ever passed out or nearly passed out during an exercise? No. Okay. Have you ever had any chest discomfort or chest pressure while exercising? No. Does your heart raise or skip beats during exercise? So every heart is supposed to be beating now, right now. Yes. So uh, do you I notice mean? any skipping of beats? No. Okay. No. no. Good. So has the doctor ever ordered a test for your heart? Yes, I've done okay. all those night tests. Yeah. Usually routine? Yeah, routine, my routine test, we do great. all those things. Great, great. Okay. Thank you very much. So, so far, I think we are good. The leaf is perfectly normal. Of course, it's good. It's regular. Um, the heart exam proved everything is fine. And the ECG um, is generally okay. I will, however, recommend that we do a stress ECG. So, we'll okay. be exercising and then we'll take the ECG again. Just okay. to make sure that there's nothing abnormal, especially okay. at your age. So with that, we can start the exercise. Okay. You are good to go. Okay. Very well done. Thank you. You're very welcome. Sir. So very great to have you here. You're good to go. I'll tell your instructor about that. Thank you very much. And we have your records here, so you can always wow. come back for your Very good atmosphere. Thank you very much. With every workout, we have to start to warm up the body before we start the main actual workout that we want. So follow me. Whatever you do, we do. We go along. View wise, if you're ready, let's go. Breathe in slowly. Again. Slowly down. And then one more. Up. This time, grab it up. Doc, I want you to grab it up. And all the time, make sure you hold your belly in. Okay, very tight. Now, Doc, move to the direction. Good. I'm stretching your waist and your obliques. And then again, last one here. And the last one here. Doc, please cross your leg for me. Let me do a some slight fitness test and see. Cross your leg, let me see. Cross it, let it go in a little bit. Deep. Good. Now, go down straight. Let me see. If you can't go all the way down, you can... Doc, you are fit. Your back is strong. <laughs> F, again. Go down. 
and let's do again. Last one. Okay. And up one, and let's go two. This is stretch for the hamstring. So okay. If you feel any, any unusual pain, just let me know. Any feeling, then let me know. Go down again. And up, down again. Two more. And then the last one. Okay, Doc. Jen, let's go. Calf raises. Let's go for the calves. One, slowly. And down again. Again. Again, again, and down. Doc, can you grab like this? You okay? Yeah. Go to one, two, three. Go. And again, change. And then let's go. Good. I want you to stand straight. I don't want you to do like this. I want you to be straight. Good. Okay, Doc, grab here. Let's go for the upper body a bit. Now turn to the side. Where do you feel it? Your back, this stretch, yes. you feel it, your back. Now turn again, another direction. Good. And again. The last one here. And the last one here. Now this time, keep your hands straight up like this. Go up and hold the belly in. Open your legs a little bit, a little more. We'll go. Now turn this way. I'm gonna watch me before you do. Now go all the way down. Let's try and slow you turn in the bed or go. Dr. Crap. Up. Stand straight. Keep your hands up. I need to go down. Good. Up. Again, you breathe, okay? Last one. And up. Don't not grab your hand like this. No, I want you to do like this. Good. Grab here. Stretch. Stretch in the forearm. Now turn it like this. And turn it in like this again. Okay, now go again here. And go. And turn it like this. And go like this. Now open. Why? Let's go for the wrist. One. Okay. Now back. Opposite. Opposite. Now hold your waist. Let's go. Shoulder shrunk. One. Two. Three. And let's go. Front. One. Good. And on the last one, close your leg. Put your hand right here on the waist and go slowly. Don't force it too much. Do you feel it on your, your side? Your oblique? Do you feel it there? Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. Good. And let's go again. Slowly go. Talk now. Slowly. Mm. Grab if you can. Good. Okay, now if you, I want you to do like this, bend a little. I want you, if you do that, bend the front leg a little. So the, I want you to feel it right in your lower back. Do you feel it here? Try like you have down a little bit. Do you feel it here? Yeah, good. Down. Let's go for the other leg. Slowly bend this one a little. Don't keep it straight, okay? Bend it a little. Mm -hmm. Like you are squeezing yourself. It's a good stretch, right? So now you felt it there. Eh? Okay, now let's go. Let's go. Bend it. Just try and squeeze yourself. Good? Yes. Good. Nice. Doc, now I want you to tip to a little bit for me, like at least. Now let's go one, two, three. And then in here. And then down, up a chain. Just one, two. Good. Doc, now bend it a little, okay? A little. I want you to sit like you're sitting normal. Let me see. Sit for me. Sit. And grab you. I want you follow right in your back. Can you go if you don't you can't go flat, no problem. But if you can go flat, I used to feel in your lower back. Uh, I know <laughs> no, that's what I said. Tell me. <laughs> now keep your hands straight. Yes. You feeling it there? Yes. You feeling it there? Now move like this a bit. Just roll on your back like this. Just roll on your back like this. Now up slowly. Now let's do one. Up. Let's do again. 
keep your legs straight three and up good fantastic that's a very good stretches you're going to thank, the thank you <laughs> you're welcome doc I stretch the body i feel it in my body now it's good that's you know <laughs> looking about what you do and you know you talk a lot you preach all over the world it's very important need it. you need, need it you I do need it to get my veins my bones my marrows especially my body relaxed so, relaxed. so now you. you're going to use the heart the heart is the most important thing okay. so let's see what we can do on the heart you said you can skip right yes so i want to see how many times you can skip so now we're in the cardio section if you have a skipping we'll grab it if you don't have it i'll demonstrate what you can do we'll be back welcome back to the cardio session doc is here doc like i said i promise you we're going to do the skipping rope to work on the heart okay. so i'm going to demonstrate and i'll give it to you and also viewers at home if you don't have the skipping rope just follow me doc this is the skipping rope okay. like i told you i want you to grab it so this is what you have to do i'm going to start skip doctor I, I, when it starts to skip i'm going to count okay and see how many times you can skip okay okay go so this is it but let's see. Let's go. Skip. I'm counting. Let's go. You can still make it. Open it wider a bit here. Doc, you are doing very well. Your heart is breathing fast, eh? It's pumping. I think I, I'm feeling that I've, I've really weighed my body. Exactly. You're using your whole body weight and also too. If you're ready, let's go again. I, this I want you to do 50. Open up, widen up your arms a bit. And let's go exactly so you can get it. You're starting. You can make it. Let's go. You can make it. Doc, you can make it. Let's go. You counted, Doc. You did. You can't because I'm surprised. And the Doc, you counted. <laughs> doc, you ready? Let's see what you have to. I mean, offer again. So energy. I want to test your energy level again. So let's go again. Let's see this time. Uh, doc, please don't count. Doc, I'm doing the counting. You ready? Yes. If you're ready, let me help you. If you're up, yes. Okay. Let's go. We are starting again. Let's go. We are starting again. Let's go. You can make it. We are starting again. It's okay, Doc. You've done really well. So this is where we are going to end the cardio. But well, after this, I'm going to take you to the floor, okay? And because we know every workout at your age, ideally, is very good that you use everybody after workout. Maybe if you don't work out at all, maybe once in a week or maybe a month, you get what we call massage, body massage. Massage all the muscles so that the blood can flow through the veins. It's very, very important. So I'm going to take you to the mat. Then we'll see. But I know you love football. This is, this is very good I try to just workout. keep it physically. Of course, these days, I'm not able to go as many minutes as I used to do when I was much younger. The doc is going to show us what he has. Some skills. Some skills. Okay, <laughs> you he, he heard it. He said some skills. Wow, 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 Doctor, uh, Doc, I'm so impressed, wow, wow. Viewers, let's go to the mat and see what Doc has to do with the football. We just want to work up a little on the stomach. So if you are ready, grab your mat and let's see what we have. 
Dog, this is a mat. I want you to go down. Flat. Since you like football, I'm going to use the mat to work on you. Dog, you still want to play. I can see you play yeah. football a lot. Yeah. There's Dog. something I want to do. Let's put it down. Let me see. Something wow. Like wow. You did it. You did it. Dog, come to me. Come. I want you to go down flat. Let me help you. Good. Just relax. This is your towel. Are you okay? Good. Just relax. At least about 10 seconds on 20 more so that you can get your energy back. So we start. You ready? Very. Good. So this is what I want you to do. Come. Good. I'm going to step on your toe a bit. Wherever the ball goes, you catch it, okay? Take your hand back. Now come. Give it to me. If you're a partner at home, you can do the same workout. Don't come. Good. If you have a partner at home, it's a very good workout for the stomach, the tummy. Don't come again. How many can you do? Well, come. As okay. many as you can. Okay. Oh, really? Don't come. Grab the ball. Come. Wherever the ball goes, you grab it. You go back and give it to me. Don't come. For the ball. Take it back. Are you okay? Very much so. Okay, then come. 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 Give it to me. Don't come. Give it to me. Come. Cover the ball. Give it to me. Come. Give it to me. Come. Give it to me. Now come. Cover the ball. Cover the ball. Come. Doctor Strong, come. At your age, come. At your age, you're doing the door. You're really down. Come again. I look very old now. Come again. Last one. You can make it. That is very good workout. That's very good work. Doc, why don't you lie flat for me? Come. Come on, come down here, come, 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 and I lie down. Good. I'm going to give you that treat, like I told you, at like every workout, you need to do a cool down. I want you to open your hand, open your hand, relax your whole muscle, the body, relax. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? So after this, you tell me how the feeling is, okay? Okay. You okay? Are you okay? Yeah. Good. Now, slowly. You feel it in your lower back? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Good? Okay. Without going what we call the challenge within the challenge. You okay. can't do without going through. Exactly. Okay, so you know what it is? Um, I'm going to demonstrate. Don't okay. now sit up. Just sit on your mat. And then let me demonstrate. Let me show you what I mean. The challenge, the challenge is a, a workout called plank. Okay. You'll see how many minutes, how many seconds you can go. Now it's Majid who has the record set. Okay. Good. Almost one minute, 50 seconds. Well, he's so, an artist, so he has the right to that record. <laughs> An actress, so. <laughs> no, yeah, indeed it's true. So now this is how it goes like, okay? But if you can, mm -hmm. if you can't, okay, you have a halfway that you can do. You can see you cross your leg at the back. Do I have to follow you as you do it? No, I want to demonstrate for you to see. Then you go like this, okay? You hold on into your core. But if you want to test yourself, you come up like this, mm -hmm. okay? Then you hold. I know which you, can, you can do it. You hold your core. It helps to build in stomach muscles and help your lower core. Very, very effective and very good. Doc, you ready? Yes. Doc, you ready? Yes. If you're ready, Doc, go for it. Like this. Good. Your back is straight. Yes. Good. Jeez, good, it's good. Heavy. It's heavy. Yes, uh, it's a good okay. dog. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, let me see. It's not bad, yeah. You did um, rough about twenty-five seconds. Do? How long did Majid do? Majid, one minute, fifty yes. seconds. Let me go for it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. Majid, it's not me or Doko. Okay, so let's go. Okay. 
So we reset. Doc says he's ready for it. Doc, you ready? Go for it. Doc, what food do you like? Banku fufu. <laughs> Doc, you like listening to music? Yes, I do. What type of music? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no chicken ass! No chicken ass! No chicken ass! But don't trust me with that one. Don't give me with that one. Don't give me 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 that one. This day and age, what I'm preaching about is how we can encourage ourselves, develop our brains, and also become instruments of blessing to our community. I, what I'm doing now, I don't get to do all this. But if somebody is doing it and is working out for you, why don't I learn it? I want to build a good body. I don't want to be too messed up in my old age. So we need to exercise. Some of this thing for me is an example to even the clergy and people out there who are busy like I am, that in spite of our busy schedule, we should find time to also exercise our body. There is no wisdom in gaining so much money and living unhealthy. There is no wisdom in having so much fame and accolades and acceptance in the community and not being a very fit person. And so I keep telling people that we should also learn to train our body. And for me, exercise is very important. Maybe I will not have the chance to do it as long as you've taken me to, because virtually you've taken over six hours of my day today. But I have gained so much that things I've learned from you today that on a normal sense I wouldn't have known. At which age did you start ministry now? Well, I started ministry actively when I was 23 years old. 23 years. So I've ministered for over 30 years now. Over 30 years. And that tells you closely how old I am. How old you are. I'm in my 50s. And you traveled a lot all over the world. Yeah, I've had a privilege to travel to 118 countries of the world. Please repeat for me. 118. 118 countries, yes. 18 countries in yes. the world. Wow. It is, belief, it is belief that I'm one of the most traveled African preachers. I think I must confess that traveling to Israel was an exceptional experience I had that, that I can never forget. My first time in Israel was in the early 90s, 1991. And uh, having traveled around the length and breadth of Israel, and of course I had a chance to live in Israel at that time for six weeks nonstop. And that is where I really developed my calling. And uh, having befriended the Israeli committee, it, it made me realize even the uniqueness of God. Doc, thank you very much, but before you leave, I'm going to give you the opportunity to throw the challenge to three people. I would go for a group. The first group is that I'm encouraging all clergymen, pastors, bishops to exercise their body because this work we do is very stressful. But if you exercise, you detox your body and it helps you to build an energy for the next level. And we don't want to grow too old to make it look as if being in the gospel is a burden. Being a preacher of the gospel should be a blessing, not a burden. The second group of people I want to also encourage are the politicians. You want to stay healthy and sound in order to be able to lead the people. And righteousness exalts the nation. So it's very important that we also build that muscle and that capacity. And lastly, to the youth. We should learn to exercise now. A lot of young men are getting pot bellies. Um, you wonder that maybe why am I talking about that when I also have a little year. But at least I'm in my 50s. But I've seen young men who are just in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, who are carrying pot bellies, and it makes you no happy. And it can even affect your sex life. And you, you need to be fit enough to have a very successful marriage. Doc, we, do this, or we do this in counseling. I counsel people in marriage, and there are a lot of young men who sexually are not so active that they are not able to make their companions very happy. And it's very good for you to live in a good health. And I will encourage you, those of you who are smoking, Please be wise. Those of you who go into excessive drinking, be wise. I must say, six hours of my life today have been drilled by this gentleman here. But I must say, thank you. Doc. I've learned things that under normal circumstances on my own, I wouldn't have known. Doc, and, uh, thank you. I know the household much. was a little bit sad for me, especially <laughs> right, yeah. but I've gone through. Thank you very much. Doc, thank you very much. Thank I'm you. not the one saying it, though. Doc said, though. <laughs> the youth out there you know it will help your sex life please doc said you heard it yourself 
dog cut across from the clergy, the politicians, and the youth. This message is for you. It's all about Chris's challenge. See you again on the next challenge. Bye-bye.